or within the palace. And Bible says that that which he did, God caused a finger to come writing on the wall. And this finger is God speaking to Belshazzar. And I don't know that which you are doing that can cause God to come face to face with you. Hallelujah. But I want you to be in the shoes of King Belshazzar. That if there is anything that you are touching, that you need not to touch. Anything that you are holding, that you need not to hold. Which belong to God. Which belong to, that is the temple of God. Sister, brother, take care. For God also can come face to face with you. Yeah. Amen. Brother, you can slow down. But I want you to go again to the book of Acts 9, the verse 5. This is God coming face to face with man. And not man coming face to face with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now Paul is speaking to Jesus. He's speaking to God. And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. I am Jesus that you persecuted. That means Paul, who was a servant of God, all right, but he was actually in the right, wrong direction. He was actually persecuting the, that is the newly saved. Those were following Jesus Christ. He thought he was working for God. And that he didn't know that he was persecuting the church of God. As many of us, we think we are helping the things of God. But rather we are driving people out. We are causing people to hold, that is hold back. We are causing people to relax at home. But I want us to be in the shoes of Saul and consider ourselves that it's our attitude, it's our character actually motivating, cultivating for people coming to the house of God, or our attitude and character is rejecting, is refusing, is driving, is causing people to go away from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. This time it is not man going to God, but God coming to man. Just because the need has arisen. Necessity is God for man. It is good for us. Necessity is also for man to come into the life. That is, the, the, is necessity is good also for God to come into the life of man, just to direct him, just to reprove him, and just to instruct him as the way he is going. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I clap my friend on the Lord. I will take myself an example, as an example. I don't like using people, but I want myself to be an example. There were times that when the people of God are going to pray, I myself was found somewhere and I said, oh, these people, what are they doing? Are they actually singing and they don't know how, what, they don't have anything to do? Are they, these people serious in life? And this is what I was doing at the back of the school gardens where they were actually doing their services that is um, all night and then morning devotion. I didn't know. I was complaining. I was actually um, saying all sorts of things about these very people who were, who were gathering fellowship with, uh, in the Lord. Amen. I didn't know. I became poor. But I was not in the church. So God will not count against me. But today you are in the church. So I'm telling you, yours will be actually recorded. Because if you go to the book of Acts, the chapter 17, and the, the verse 30 said that at the time that we do not know, God went at it. God overlooked them. God did not remember them. But now that we have come to know the truth, now that we have come to understand that it is not so, that we can actually stand and persecute the children of God. It's about time we stop now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We don't have to work for the devil, but we work for God. And that is our desire. That as we have come, there is a need for us that we have to come. And we have come. The need is that God will actually trim us. This man said, you can see that formerly it was not so. And the shape was not to his liking. For this cause, when he went to a barber, the barber just actually saw the picture of this man 
and he became, he began to train the head. Now you can see that he loved the head that the man had trained. And today he sits in the presence of the Lord. The same thing that we have come, we have come with our heads. We have come with a lot of load. We have come with a lot of materials that are unwanted. But I believe that coming face to face with God, the necessity has come and we have come face to face with God. God is going to trim us. God is going to take us. God is going to cause us to be made whole. Then somebody will ask me, what is necessity? Necessity is a need. Want is something that is not uh, all that important. Want can be satisfied in a month, years. But need is something that is very serious. Amen. Need is something that is a pressure of circumstance. And, and that is the quality of state of being in need. Especially when we are in the state of poverty. You need, you need the hand of God. For that God, you have to run unto your maker. Come face to face with him. And begin to have an encounter with him. And all that you say that you need him. All that you say that the son writes son. I need you, oh Lord. My prayer is that I need you. Because there's nothing that you can say to it apart from you need him. Amen. And this need is very, very necessary. Amen. Let me bring an illustration. For example, I have a child. And the child, it has come to a time that he has to ride an exam. This child needs some money to be able to pay the tuition fee. And then another of my boy also need a bicycle. The two of these actually elements, which is more needy, which is more important. The bicycle man, I can wait for years and I buy him a bicycle. Okay, I can even allow the one who is going to sit an exam to go through that when he is successful and he had a position in a working place and all is well with him, you will buy him in a car for you. <laughs> Amen. So the need is necessary. It's important. So we have come here. Let us not come with wants. Let us come with issues that are needed. That can prompt the heart of God. That can cause Pastor Smith to say that I'm removing my shirt and pray for you until I see God come to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want us to consider the man of God also who came face to face with God. Need is something that nobody can avoid in life. Once or in your one month's life or lifetime, you can come to a point that you need God so much. I can tell you that necessity has brought us all here. Many of us Christians, when it has been well with us, and we are riding in our, how do you call it, uh, Arobius, the spider ones, you don't see me here. I will not see you here. But the need has come that we have to come closer to God. Because within our bodies, there are some things that are going on that the Holy Spirit does, does not permit. You yourself, you don't actually accept it. But it has come. But the need has for us come to us that we have to come closer to God. That is why we are taking our luggage and we are here. In the book of Isaiah, the chapter 38, the verse 3 and 5, something occurred in the Bible. And I want us also to consider this man and be in his shoes. God talks about this man in another way. And the prophet talks about this man in another way. But we are going to talk that which this man went through. The chapter 38, 3 and 5. <laughs> And said, Remember now, O oh Lord, as it is thee, how I have gone before thee. Stop there. Now, this man is who? 
Hezekiah. This man was somebody who was a king. According to the Bible, he did that which was right in the sight of God. And eventually he did something that was not pleasing to God. So God sent a word through our prophet Isaiah that go and tell this man that he should put his house in order. That the sickness that he is going through is not going to recover. The Bible says that this man came to himself. Brothers and sisters, we are all at home and we came to ourselves that there is need that we have to come face to face with God. The necessity is there, so we have to come. And so this man came and then kneeled before God, facing the wall. There are times that you have to tell God all the good things that you have done for him. And if you have not done anything for God, this is the time that when you go home, you begin to actually do good things for the Lord. Amen. You have to have record that God, when you look, open the book, you can see that ah, no, This man, he doesn't deserve that. This sister, he doesn't deserve that. This brother, he doesn't deserve that. Because I look at the icon and I see that he has done my work well. This happened to our brother Mordecai. They saw that he had done good, so they have to elevate you. So your good will cause God also to save you from that sickness that Hezekiah went through. And Bible says he knelt and prayed. And Bible says that God repented. That means we can God cause God to repent of anything evil that we have done. That calamity will come upon us to, for God to remove them. Amen. Amen. So Bible says that this man prayed. That Lord, see how I've served you, how I've walked in your way, how I've even ruled your nation according to your own will and purpose. And now you are sending word to me that I'm going to actually lose my life. Lord, this can't be possible. Lord, then this time, as for this one, you are not being read. Lord, this one, you are, I will not accept it. And Bible says that the man who actually came to give the word of God, when he was going on the way, God actually confronted him that I've heard this man and I go and tell him again I love this question go and tell him again that he will not die but I have added 15 years to his year <laughs> and the lovely part of it is that I don't want us to go into that time I won't go anywhere the lovely thing is that this man within the 15 that is all those years that he has been king those women that are not having children, you should wake up. But the, the women that are not having children, you wake up. Women that need children, you should wake up. You should wake up. You should wake up. I used to wake up. It's not English, but if you understand, you wake up. Just get up on your feet. The, uh, only this women need children. Oh, some of them they were given three to four, but they won't fight for. <laughs> A year by this time. A year by this time. Another to 
Today it is yours. Tomorrow it will be his. And that time that you will have, uh, you'll be, you'll be his. You'll not be able to stand. So now that he's not having, do him good. And the men, that, now that the women are not working, do them good. And don't harass them. Don't torment them. Don't cause them to be miserable. Cause them to enjoy that which you are having. So that when they also get it, they can also help you. Yeah. Rejection is everywhere. If my turn is out, tell me I'll go. Rejection, rejection. If you go to the office, let me do an illustration. You know, come in. When the woman is doing this, they put, oh, close the door. Close the door. Out. Via, via, via. What have you done? <laughs> the problem is that. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, the verse 20, Bible says that God gave us dominion. He has us to take power. He has us to take dominion. And to actually increase and multiply and replenish the earth. Why did it come so? It came so because our father Adam and Eve, Bible says they, they, they sinned. And when they sinned, what happened? God actually threw them out of the garden. And God actually told, told the man that you have to sweat before what? You'll be able to eat. And the woman has to go through labor. But if you go to the book of Romans, he says that the creature is waiting for the sons of God to manifest, to bring deliverance onto people that are going through problems. So I want us to consider this verse. Could you we are taking this thing that that is delivered to take dominion? We are delivered. And as we have come on face to face with God, there is need that we take dominion. Yeah. We take dominion. Yeah. And then we have to be fruitful. Then we have to increase. And we have to multiply. And we have to replenish this earth. Amen. 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 You are the sons of God today. You are manifesting the power and the glory of God. And there is no way the enemy can hold you for anything. You don't have anything to give account unto the devil. If you have any account, you have to give to Jesus. And for that cause, he cannot achieve you in any way. That needing has called you to come. Amen. Amen. Our brother has recovered. You are also recovering. Amen. In the cause of the face to face, you are recovering. Some of us, the, the, the problems it just go out, not by actually falling. The problem just leave you like that. Amen. Some of us will begin to cry. I bet you, anyone whose marriage is cozy cozy, I tell you that sweetness is entering. The joy of the Lord is coming. That need causes you to be here. And for that cause, God has to see you through. The children, they have become. They have become a load at our back. They have become people that we cannot touch them. But this Lord doesn't belong to us. Whether we get a passport, whether we get so river, your land is Africa. And I want to tell you that that which we do, you have to do. Amen. That which we, where we go, we have to go. Whatever we touch, you have to touch. Because we are people following God. But if you follow the people of this world, someday, sometime, when I'm in Africa and I give you a call, you burn the phone. May God have mercy upon our children. And as we have come here, may God empower them as He has empowered us. May God's revelation of His glory and power rest upon them. As they walk through this land of Italy, they will stand for the Lord and they will stand for us also. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Necessity is so much upon Africans. Why is it so? Especially those who call on God. The problem is that anybody that actually takes the challenge to follow Christ, many are the afflictions. And Bible says that the one who actually wrote it that this will be your affliction. God says you make a way out of it. And that you don't have to be dismayed. You don't have to be discouraged. The need has brought you here 
So stand on your grounds and get face to face with God. Bible says that a brother called Jebus or Jabez was somebody who was born of sorrow. The sorrow causes him to be disfavored everywhere because he was born of a hollow. For that cause, disfavor was following him. Rejection was his portion. All things, were, all manner of things were talked about him. But this man that saw that there is a God in Israel, yeah. that when he comes face to face with him, he can turn his life around. Yeah. Today, Jabez is history. Yeah. My brother, you are going to be history. Yeah. You are going to be right about you. Yeah. Your picture will come to the newspapers yeah. as to what God has done. But all that you have to do is that go to the Lord with a genuine heart. The first to first is genuineness in heart. You can't come to God and have a double mind. You will not have anything from God. There are some of if anybody is having Jitu here, this one is not in the topic, but since we are praying that the Holy Spirit should have his control, if there is anybody who is having Jitu here, or call him Mama and tell him Papa, that it is nowhere of these days, so do something for me. My brother, my sister, ask for me. In Kunio, I said one way, somebody did not come to the house of God again. That is good. There are times that when the Holy Spirit is at work and you are speaking, you speak it. So that the children of God will be blessed. So that when God comes, He will not hold you account for it. So if you are having any juju and you have come, it's very important. If you go, go and throw it away, or oh, bring it to the pastor, and God will bless you. Amen. 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 In the book of Jabez, or Jabez, I want to ask to read something from there. Amen. It will help us. There are some things that I want us to actually consider. Amen. I want us to open into the book of First Chronicles, chapter nine. Today we are talking. We are talking about destiny. Our destiny is in the hands of one person. My Bible tells me that God has spoken once and twice as I heard. The law of power belongs to God. And so no power belongs to the devil. So the devil can hinder you for some time, but not always. But when you come face to face with God, oh, those tenets will be broken. Amen. If you read from the book of 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 4, the verse 9. And that was for all the he was honorable because of the prayer that he prayed. Because of the face to face, he saw the need that if you don't pray about his life, his life will become miserable. So there's need and he came unto God and prayer turned his life around. Because prayer and fasting as you are doing. So God will hear us also. And his mother called him for his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. That means when the mother was given, given Back to Jabez, they were saying a lot of things about you. You are hallowed, you are this, you are this. The best of all. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that they were telling so many things about this woman that is a hallowed. But God is no respecter of person. This woman who was rejected with his sons, by the son, Bible says that he bore this boy or man in sorrow, and he gave him the name Jabez. But there are names that have been given to me and you. I've changed my name several times. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the name comes, you have to change it. If you see that the name is worrying you, you have to change it. Bible says that our fathers have sinned and they are no more with all their iniquities. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has come this day to erase that name, all the curses that 
were actually attached to it. And now we are free to sit in the presence of the Lord, even to come face to face with Him. Amen. 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 If somebody is there, you should wait. Nine. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, How did he call upon the Lord? He came in. There was no, there were no people around. He just made or became like a Zakia. When somewhere because there, he had been rejected. He in a certain place, and then he actually, there are times that you have to lie. You have to lie in the bush and be crying. There are times that I've lied in the bush from morning to even crying because there was need for me. And I came face to face with the God in that bush crying. I will not lie to you. Not one day, not two days. Man said, Hallelujah. And God will hear you. And why God here help me there? And Bible says that who? This man was more honorable than the brothers. Then I read again. And that is called on the God of Israel, saying, O that thou wouldest, wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast. God bless me and enlarge my coast. There are some blessings or there are requests, they are good, God love it. If you come here, don't only pray for one thing, but pray for more things. If you say God should bless you, general, you will be blessed and then you see that maybe you will have money and that's all. Ask that God should give you a husband, a husband who will be worthy, a husband who can actually love you, a husband who will treat you well, a husband who will be God-fearing, a husband who is living in a bed. Amen. Your hand will be upon me and you keep me from evil. Protect me also. There are people, they pray for um, that is material and physical, and they even don't ask for protection. But ask that the Holy Spirit should protect us. Stand that the Lord has given us to you. Very well. That it may not bring me, and God doesn't mean that which he requested. And Bible says that his face to face was not to me. My brother, my sister, your face to face will not be in vain. The necessity has got you to be here, it will never be in vain. God should be actually true and all men be liars. That whatever they are saying against your life, whatever they are talking about your destiny, it shall not stand. It is only the counsel of the Lord that shall stand in your life. For what God has written is written, forever written in your life. You will be tested. 
said, I'm telling you, I'm from here. From here. I know how to answer everyone. Amen. 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 We should cause our mouth to be seasoned with salt. Mm -hmm. That will be able to answer any question that comes our way as Christians. The need has come and we have come. God is not by us. God is not unfaithful. So all that you are doing, God has seen it. Keep your fingers closed. Wait on the Lord. Just become confident in the faith that you have. Don't be shaken. Look forward to actually see all the goodness of the Lord. The kindness, the Lord, the faithfulness, the God that is the joy, and all the, that includes will come upon you. If you have this, the devil cannot near you because you are power with God. You are having love, kindness, love, kindness um, gentleness, goodness, temperance, and all sorts with you. Then the devil sees that there is no God in you. That is Natalia. And if you become Natalia, even God will praise you. Let me tell you one thing and I will leave you. I talk about man meeting God face to face and God meeting man face to face. God met Abraham if I'm not mistaken. In the book of Genesis 22. And then God actually went to this man. Why did God went to this man? Because he had favor with the Lord. And God was able to actually go and tell the mind of Abraham. That is, this is what I plan to do to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. And that um, I want to destroy them. This man, Abraham, began to back in with God. As you have come here, I pray that God, who has seen you all these years in the land of Italy, may grant you the power that you will come. That you can hold on to your faith. That you people will see you and call you blessed. That you can become an investor. To stand in and cause people to be saved. People to be delivered and people to be saved. Like as Abraham taught that God should actually save Sodom if he finds ten people. God cannot go down to his name. He didn't find ten men. So Sodom will destroy, destroy. But I want you to be in the shoes of Abraham and stand for the Lord. My time is up. But all that I will leave you now is that necessity will not cost you to actually stay home. You come face to face with God. In your, in your glory, every corner of your life where you have that ability, the power to talk to God, you talk to God. And I believe that if you do so, God will actually see you through. Amen. It is my prayer and my desire that the God who actually saw Jacob through and journey to his anchor and did not forsook him even all the hardships that he went through, the difficulties. He was more treated that he cannot have anything. But in the end, all the blessings of his anger turned unto him, and it was double double. Yeah. I think that the double double will come on him on this yeah. Because my time is up, I should have taken you to Hebrews. But all they say is okay. May the peace of God be within your hearts. Yeah. And your prosperity be within your palace. Yeah. May God of Jacob remember you. Amen. Yeah. your offerings. And accept your very sacrifice. Amen. Amen. According to their own heart. Amen. Amen.